So I let him just breathe and absorb that. Is it a specific choice to do that inside this bend? No, just kind of like maybe the angle. I, I want to do all of them. They're all a bit tight, so it just happened to be the one that was easiest to access. But this finger is not as bad as the other ones, but I'm still, again, hitting. Tense? Yep, tense. So I'm easing off slightly, letting him breathe. Ah. So before I do big muscles, I, I do all of this, and then the big muscles, like I said, they'll be so easy. It's like kindergarten to do the big muscles. Nice click there, deeper one. Another one. And again, just slightly moving it side to side and letting him breathe into that. So all of these are, even though this was not the tightest finger, they're still tight. If you're working with somebody that has got very bad arthritis or something like um, Deputrins, I can't remember. I yeah, I know, how, I know what you're talking about. My can, father can had you, that. Um, you, can you, what, can, is there anything to be done about, I mean, you know, how do you approach those ones? Look, it's just gonna take a lot longer um, because most of the time people have a low, they have, they're really tight with a low pain threshold because it's so painful. But you can still do yep. this work. Yeah. So on my YouTube channel, we had a, a lady, um, <coughs> Her name will come to me in just a second. Um, and she was in her 80s. And when she, she just, she'd never had massage before. And she was actually one of the ladies that, that ran the venue. And she came in and was changing the toilet paper and said, oh, what are you doing? And, you know, we got her on the table and, and her, finger, her, her hands were like that, you know? And, and she had chronic arthritis. Her feet were the same, but with a whole lot of varicose veins. She was about to go, her doctor was about to put her in a wheelchair, basically. Um, I think she was around 82. Okay, um, so she volunteered to come in and, you know, and came in with two other ladies and the two other ladies just could not handle it, you know, but she, she kind of, was, it was extremely painful for her, but she recognized the benefits. So she kept seeing one of my students for the next two or three years. Her doctors couldn't believe it because, and, and, and basically we got her from the point of being in the condition of an, you know, a, an advanced 82 year old to what a 60 year old would feel like. Which for us is like, oh, well, you've, you're still, you know. Um, but for her, it was amazing because, you know, it kept her out of the wheelchair. She could still do her bowls. She, and she told everybody about it, you know. But it took two years of my student working on her. It, so instead of taking, like, you know, if we'd have treated her when she was 30 or 40 or even 50, um, it would have been so much easier. But to reverse somebody who's that bad, Yes, it can mostly be done, but there were still some of her joints in her toes that were basically fused. And those ones were very hard to fix because, you know, but the rest of them we got to a point where it, there was a 70%, 80% improvement, which was pretty incredible for her. And, 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 and every time she kept going. So it's just that we didn't really move her into maintenance. It was always excavation, just a little. We might get 1% out each time, but you add that, um, you know, and, and her quality of life massively improved. So it took two years to go from 80 to 60, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? <laughs> you know, uh, that's not bad at all. And that's some, but, but so much better. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So to, to treat people when they're younger, then you'd just be maintaining them in their 80s, not excavating 80 years worth of tension, because you can see even Dave's body's only not even 50, and, and there's still quite a lot of, you know, a lot of work there, right? But if he left it another, thir you add 30 years on to this, but then you add the fact that joints start to fuse. That's the real problem is, is with elderly people is they get so tight that their joints, like they, they literally have no movement whatsoever. I don't know if you guys have felt that before. Yes, 
and that, like, and hammer toes and toes. things like that. They're, yeah. they're a lot of work. Yeah. And, and the reason they're a lot of work, too, is because it's incredibly painful. And if you, even if you used the danger of, of using something like a, a topical anesthetic, which some doctors in my class have wanted to use and use, is that it's more easy to bruise the person because they, they don't feel it and they're not going to breathe as well. Okay. My mom's riddled in arthritis and she takes tramadol daily, like, and functions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I do massage her a lot, and she has really reaped the benefits to the point where she's talking about it to everyone. Yeah. But I am worried that because she's on the medication and because I'm going, I'm rotating. And I'm What's dead. that medication do? Is it a painkiller or uh, anti-inflammatory? Yeah, a really strong painkiller. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. Yeah, well, it's, it's a, it's, you just have to be a bit careful because yeah. you can't use pain as an indicator. Yeah. You know, like with here, I'm using Dave, you know, I'm, I go here and Dave goes, oh, that's quite painful in his own particular way. Um, you know, but if, if he's on a painkiller, I could overwork it. Yeah, that's my word. And, 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 word. and bruise it. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, I just need to be easy. mindful of it. My, you know, you're better off in those circumstances uh, for the first few treatments, erring on the side of caution and seeing how they felt afterwards. Yeah. No, she feels amazing. She's, oh, good. She's, yeah, she had trouble walking, now she's walking. That's right, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Exactly. So, it's just, it's the, the danger is, is, is bruising, really, yeah, usually. That's, you know, yeah. that's the biggest, you know. Yeah, it's the only working. Okay, so we're getting some... I'm now coming back. After doing that finger, I can come back in and... Just do some gentle work on his thumb. <laughs> Nothing too radical. <laughs> and look at the... Still tight, but a lot better than what it was. So I've now done almost all of his fingers except his little one, so I'll, I'll do that. But I'll just have a feel for the general... You know, see how these move. Again, just get some, see if we're going to get any more. There's still tightness here, believe This is just like one layer come off, but it's still going to feel a lot better for Dave. Look at that. All right. Whew. All right, we'll do his little finger now. I'll just actually have a quick loop. How do you feel? You know? I mean, I could if I really wanted to at the moment. You know, about the first time, because my father passed away and left me some money. I could do that. But... but for the last 50 years, I haven't been able to, to afford to do that. I have to do it as a business. So I just want people that really appreciate what I do, willing to pay me for my time, and then we get on with it, you know? How long do you have to have the business clients getting some sort of benefit before they do invest in like two, three hour sessions a week? For well, it depends how intelligent they are. That's really what it comes down to. So. How long is it going to take? I mean, obviously, Dave's invested his life in, in Raider Massage, you know? But let's just say, um, yeah, it really depends on how intelligent they are, right? And that's, I like just dealing with intelligent people. Uh, otherwise, it just drives me crazy. So, um, you know, if they're intelligent, they go, wow, this is a fucking amazing, you know? Or how wow, the British way of saying it. <laughs> you, yeah, see, he's intelligent, you know? This is a fucking amazing, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, or whatever the English equivalent is. But, you know, you guys understand that. Um, and then it's like we're getting there. So, you know, as long as, you know, I mean, sure, if you want to do it as a charity, uh, you can. I don't want to do it as a charity, but I just, I don't know. When people are on the table, you see how stiff they are and how tight they are. But you didn't get them that tight. No, I know. Not your fault. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, do a good job then. <laughs> do what I'm teaching you. They'll feel the benefits. The learning cycle, you know, you're conscious and confident, and then unconscious and confident, and conscious and confident, and then forever. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right. But see, for me, like even working on Dave here, it's not about me doing it quicker or deeper. It's about I'm working at what he can handle. Yes. Right. So he's setting the pace. Right. And it's not like, ooh, 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 he yeah. should be, you know, yeah, it's, it's his body. It he's just. Not, isn't it? It costs more, I guess. You what's want it? To take more time. If he's ooh, you would have to kind of, it would cost more for him because you couldn't get in as deep. If I was what? Sorry. If he was kind of, mo like, kind of, you couldn't get in very deep. Mm -hmm. It would cost him more, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, of course, it's, yeah. It's his responsibility. Yeah, it's his responsibility, yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> and then it's up to me That's whether I kind of just it. start to get the shits, you know? Like, why are you wasting my time, you know? Okay. So I might charge him more. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Just to put him off, because they're so boring. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm at that stage in my career. You guys are at a totally different yeah. stage. I've been doing this 30-something yeah. years. I don't have time for that. And that's okay, but yeah, you've just got to consider that that's yeah. charity. You're doing charity, and there's nothing wrong with doing charity no. if you can afford it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm quite lucky. Mum and Dad's got back room that I've transformed into a doorway, yeah. so I'm very lucky I've got that. <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, it's, it's, it's just something you've got to consider, you know? Like, are you doing massage for business, charity, or both? Both. Yeah, and that's fine. But people wrong qualify with themselves out from this sort of massage if they didn't, if they weren't green lights, right? Sorry? People would qualify themselves out from this sort of massage. Usually, yeah. If, if, They'll if, just go, if, I don't like it. If they come for a relaxing, full body kind of Ayurvedic, whatever, with dolphin music yeah. and towels, they're not going to come back for this. Yeah. And I, 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 not unless they understand what the word see, relaxation actually means. Because this is the ultimate in relaxation massage, because he's actually getting, look at how relaxed he's becoming. Relax means re means bring back. Lax means what? Loose. I have not bring back to loose. This yet, so I'm interested to see what happens. This Do you feel more relaxed? Dave? <clears throat> Insanely. Insanely. So yeah. Whereas what people call relaxation massage for people that actually want to get relaxed and are intelligent is not relaxing. <laughs> it's superficial and it's annoying. <laughs> so. But it's the length of time, and this is. Uh, Two hour massage so far. I haven't had that long. I've had a couple of Rainer massages with people that you've trained here. Big breath. Yep. But I, I haven't experienced the sort of release that Dave is insanely describing. Well, hopefully, you will this week. Hopefully, I will. I'm really interested in that. You know, I'm really open to that. Um, but that's why I, I, I personally. <laughs> I don't mind doing for an introduction massage uh, an hour. That's fine. Half an hour. I don't care. Yeah. Um, because it's a hi, how you going? Nice to meet you. You know? Yeah. But when I'm actually working on a green light, like Dave is a green light, you know, like it's obvious, right? Like he teaches it. He, you know? And he's become, I've seen Dave uh, over the years, and I know he's become more and more of a green light. Okay? Um, and it's really nice for me to see Dave change. Yeah. You know? Dave was, was a student, now he's a teacher. But also just even in his own, he, he just become more and more of a green light. So it's exciting for me to work on a green light. Whereas it's boring, I, I hate working on red lights and it's kind of boring working for me on a yellow light. It's like putting all the brakes on everything you do. And I, you know, um, if you just got to tread carefully, you can't kind of, yeah, do what you do. Yeah, yeah. you tread carefully anyway, but you've got to tread more carefully with the people that you Yeah. Yeah. See how his wrist just made a huge mm. click? Yeah. That's because I did his fingers really well. And then I... And look at... Do you see his hand now? Like, can you even... Like, have a look. Just look at this hand and look at this hand. 
<laughs> and this is his this is his dominant hand, right? So this was his tighter hand. He's right-handed. Do you want to have a quick feel of his hand? So you can just see it, right? Like you just see that the, the, the softness starting to come in. Yeah, this head. one's like a different angle. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. thumbs at a different yeah. angle. The whole, you know. Brandon, do you say kind of no or refer on amber red lights? Oh yeah, get rid of them. No, no amber. I'm willing to educate. <laughs>